Welcome to CXCOM Data Transport for Windows Release 11.6 Service Pack 1 Upgrade Installer Demo. In this video, we'll take a look at the new improvements made in the XCOM installer, followed by an upgrade installer demo. The new installer now supports seamless upgrade from Release 11.6 to Release 11.6 Service Pack 1. It preserves the customization made to default configuration files. It upgrades the database to the latest level. It retains the transfers in queue. The new installer runs faster than the previous ones in both GUI and silent mode with lesser footprint. No system restart is required after installation. You can automate XCOM installation throughout your enterprise by performing silent installations. Starting from Service Pack 1, you no longer need to use the installer to generate a response file before you run a silent installation. Instead, you can now create and customize your response file which follows easy to understand key value pair syntax. Silence installer returns appropriate return codes which help in identifying the status of the transfer. Troubleshooting has been improved by collecting detailed logs for each install action. Assuming that the required prerequisites are met, let's run Upgrade Installer to upgrade CXCOM Data Transport from Release 11.6 to Release 11.6 Service Pack 1. We have a Windows system with CXCOM Data Transport R11.6 already installed. In order to simulate an environment where XCOM default parameters are customized, some configuration files are modified for the purpose of demonstration. Let us take a look at them by launching XCOM GUI. The default value of max queue size has been changed from 50 to 500. The default value of expiration time has been changed from 6k to 12k. The default value of log file has been changed. This XCOM also uses history and trusted database. So we have some parameters which are modified after 11.6 installation. Before we start upgrade, we need to either stop the active transfers or wait until they complete. This can be verified using XCOM queue manager. Let's issue a command XCOM QM hyphen LA. We have total 12 records with the different transfer status available in the transfer queue. Now let us stop XCOM D Windows service by issuing the command net stop XCOM D SRV. We have stopped the XCOM Windows service. Now we are ready to upgrade. To upgrade we need to launch the install media for CXCOM data transport release 11.6 SP1. For the purpose of this demonstration we have copied the install media to our local system. Let us browse to the location of the install media. Here is the installer. Right click on the installer and choose option run as administrator. The same installer acts as a fresh as well as an upgrade installer. You can upgrade XCOM R11.6 32 bit to XCOM R11.6 SP1 32 bit. Similarly, you can upgrade XCOM R11.6 64 bit to XCOM R11.6 SP1 64 bit.
install wizard is displayed to continue click next license agreement dialog box is displayed read the agreement to continue accept the terms of license agreement click next installer has detected an existing XCOM on the system you are prompted to confirm the upgrade to 11.6 SP1 to confirm select S and click next upgrade information is displayed click next choose backup directory panel is displayed choose the appropriate backup directory and click next if JDBC connector has been copied to XCOM home to configure trusted database choose the JDBC driver to be copied click next pre-installation summary is displayed click install the upgrade process starts installation is complete click done let's open text editor installer generates two log files the custom log file is located at percent temp percent slash xcom installer dot log all the installed actions are captured in a different log file that is located at xcom home uninstaller logs directory this log file contains all the actions performed by installer a summary is presented there are no warnings or errors reported so the upgrade installation is successful now let us start XCOM Windows service again. Let us check the XCOM version. Now this XCOM instance has been upgraded to R11.6 build SP01. Let us have a look at the configuration files to ensure no customization is lost due to upgrade. In order to do that, let's launch XCOM GUI to see if the parameters are preserved. Max queue entries value and expiration time value has been preserved. Similarly, custom log file name has been preserved. Trusted and history database still works. So that way, upgrade installation has retained all the customized parameters. Let's look into the transfer queue. We have 12 records intact in the XCOM queue. The upgrade installation has been completed successfully and XCOM service is ready to use. Thank you for viewing this video. To learn more about this product, connect with other users and share your own expertise. Visit the CAXCOM data transport community 
at the URL shown. This concludes the training on Upgrade Installer.